Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mark, and this is Sterling. He's my 2014 Mustang GT. Um, so today I'm taking it out to the dyno. I'm gonna see what kind of numbers it's putting down. Uh, right now, it's pretty much stock. It has the 5.0 Coyote in it with a manual transmission. And before I actually put any power adders on it, I wanna see what it's making right now. See if it's healthy, see what kind of power it's putting down. Now for power wise, the only thing I've installed on this car so far is I've done a cap back on there to make it sound better. And everything else has been suspension, wheels and tires and things like that to make it handle better. So now that I got most of that out of the way, I'm gonna be starting adding some power adders in there. So I wanna see what this car can do. Now a lot of the stock Mustangs I've seen have put down about 320 to the wheel. Um, it's rated at 420 at the crank. So we're gonna see how big of a difference. I got about 100,000 miles on the car now. So we'll see if any of that's a little bit wore out. Plus I have a little bit of excuse that it's, it's a little warm today, it's 81 degrees, and also live in Reno, so I'm like 4,500 feet in the air. So being at a higher altitude, I'm gonna have a little bit less air, so I'm gonna make a little bit less power, so I'm hoping to be somewhere around the 300 horsepower range. So another thing that's going on in the area, I don't really know how big of a difference it's gonna make, but our air quality is actually really, really bad right now. So if you look around, like, no, California's on fire, it's nothing but smoke out here. And I just looked in our AQI, which is our air quality index, is sitting around 350. Uh, I've seen it over 400 the last couple days. And from what I've read, everything under 50 is healthy. So right now we're kind of in hazardous conditions and hopefully that'll go away here soon. But I don't know if that's gonna make a difference between how the car runs. The car seems to be running okay, but we'll see how it does on the dyno car. I drove that thing here, so we're pretty much already warmed up. So by the time I get there, it should be warmed up even better and they can just kind of throw it on the dyno. I don't know how, what they're gonna go through and check out before they actually run it. But hopefully it shouldn't take too long. They said no more than an hour. Just look at how smoky it is out there. Just ran the first run. So, right now we did 343. 343 for stock car. Thank you guys, I will see you next video.